Partitioning numbers just means breaking down a number so that you can see what each digit is worth. Take for example this number, 3543. We have units, tens, hundreds and then individual thousands. We can show this using cubes. 3543 is here. We've got thousands, hundreds, tens, units, three lots of a thousand, five hundreds, four tens and three units. To break it down we just say what each of these individual digits is worth. So for this one we put 3000, put our comma in to help. Here we've got 5 and it's 500. We've got 4 which is 40 and we've got 3 which is units and then all we have to do is put adding signs to show that you add them together to make your 3543. When you get past four digits it starts to get a little bit more challenging. Here we've got units, tens, hundreds, thousands and tens of thousands. It's more challenging because it's difficult to know how many zeros to put in when you're on the bigger columns towards the left hand side. So it's actually easier to partition going downwards. Here we're going to take the six and bring it down and just add zeros in all the other columns. So now we know the six is worth 60,000. The seven is worth 7,000. The nine is worth 900. The five is worth 50 and the 3 is just 3 units. So adding all of those back together again would give us the number we started with. Six digits is no harder. We have units, tens, hundreds, individual thousands, tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands. We've just got an extra digit. So the 2 here will have five zeros after it. It will be 200,000. The 9 will have four zeros which is 90,000. The 5 is 5 individual thousands, then we've got the 4 is 400, the 3 is 30, and the 1 is just 1 unit. Add them all up together, we get the number we started with. 7 digits, again just an extra column. Units, tens, hundreds, individual thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, and then thousands of thousands, which we call the special name millions. So our 9 is 9 million, we need 6 zeros after that. Our 4 is 400,000, that's got 5 zeros. Our 7 is 70,000 with 4 zeros. Our 3 is 3 individual thousands, so it's got the 3 zeros. Our 2 is 200 with 2 zeros. Our 1 is just simply a 10 with 1 zero. And our 5 sits by itself as a unit. Add them all back together and you're back where you started. One little warning, be careful if there are zeros in the number. If you try to partition this going across the page, it would be quite challenging. So here the columns really help. Here you've got six million with your six zeros. In the hundreds of thousands column, there is nothing. So we can actually leave that line out. Going to the two, the two is worth 20,000. There's nothing in the individual thousands, so we can leave that out. The one is a hundred, nothing in the tens, and then the five is five individual units. So here, because there are so many zeros when we partition, this number is only made out of six million, plus an extra 20,000, plus an extra hundred, plus an extra five. Add them together, you get what you started with.